Here we are at the Salford Lads Club, iconic building, as everybody knows in Manchester. And I'm here with John Thompson to raise some money for charity for the club tonight to keep this amazing place going. And why this club? Well, there's not many places like this anymore, you know, and I just saw an old fella come in there and I heard him straight away say, all oh, happy memories. Yeah. You know, and these kind of places do give that, you know, so it means a lot to a lot of people. Been all over the world because of certain bands and obviously Morrissey. So what what has tonight got in got in store? What what types of things are going on? Well, we don't know really, me and John, because I mean I've known John a long time. We worked together a few times, and we we're very very good mates. Uh, so I met him this morning. Uh, we've both been working very busy. So I met him this morning. We had breakfast. And what we're going to talk about? And I, said, I don't know. So we kind of went well. You interview me, I'll interview you, and we'll see what happens. I said, all right, now I'm thinking, maybe we should have put a bit more work in. I think that's probably, no, that's probably the nice thing about it, is you're just going to kind of turn up and just tell, tell, tell your stories. And just tell see your what tales. happens, you know. Yeah. And do you find it hard with, I suppose, other things going on in your life? Is it something that's... Well, sometimes like, you, you can't always do it because you're so busy, you know, and, and on the street we work, you know, five day weeks and then you learn lines at, every night and at weekends and stuff like that. But uh, I, I fit it in, you know, if I can, when I can, you know, for as many as I can. <laughs> and what are the, in terms of your actual career, mm. so how did you get into that? Just as a, as a curious question. What, into acting? Just, yeah. I got into acting at school, really. I had a very, very good drama teacher who was inspiring. Yeah. So the last year at school, when I was in the very last year at school, I wasn't doing very well in lessons. I'd given up by then. And this is in the very early 80s. So the headmaster, I don't know if it happened anymore, but he said to me, look, you're not interested in doing lessons. You're only interested in the school theatre and doing plays, or reading plays, which my drama teacher used to give me. So the last year at that school, I would go to school, but I'd spend my time sat on this spiral staircase in this very small school theatre reading plays. Yeah. And I didn't do the last year of school. You just thought you always wanted to do Yeah, that. And, you know, a lot of people helped me, a lot of people advised me because I was from a background, there was no actors, there was no theatre, it just didn't happen, you know. And I just got lucky, if very simple. I just got lucky with a very, really brilliant chap who was interesting and inspiring and then and other people helped me. Well, gone, Why don't you go to drama school? Well, what's that? But you mean I can make money as an actor? No way, you've got to be joking. Because I thought it was only for the golden people on TV, not me, you know. And uh, there we go, so and then somebody said, drama school, and I paid my deposit, I mean, I paid my uh, audition fee, and I went, and I got in. <laughs> so that's how it started. Yeah. It's gone downhill from then on. <laughs> How come? No joking. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you very much. Thank Enjoy you very much. I well. will. Thank I will. You.